So in algebra all the time we're isolating variables. If we have something like uh, 3x plus 1 equals 10, solving an equation is an example of isolating a variable because the thing we want to do is to get x by itself to isolate it. Um, and we do that by doing this untangling process so that we end up getting x equals 3. And the important thing is that in general we get x equals some expression that's a number. Um, so a more general task is when the end goal isn't to get one variable expressed in terms of number, um, but instead to get it expressed in terms of numbers and other variables. So this happens whenever there's more than one kind of variable or more than one variable in a given equation. So if we have 3x plus 6y equals 2. Um, here we don't know what x and y are. There are actually lots of different things that x and y could be to satisfy this equation. But the goal at the moment is just to isolate y. Isolate y. Um, the good reason for doing this is that if we can do the untangling process um, this one time, then we'd end up with a formula down here that would say y equals blah, you know, some kind of thing. That's not just going to be a number. We're not going to solve for y so that we know what it is, but we will get an expression for it so that if we knew what all of the other variables were, in this case x, then we could just plug it in like a formula and out would pop y. Okay, so that's a, that's a labor-saving device so that if we wanted to find out what y was for lots of values of x, it would be easier to plug x into this thing rather than plug it into this thing and have to do the untangling every single time. Okay, so the way this happens is, is, not, is not too bad. It's very similar to the way that we solve an equation for x. Um, we're trying to isolate y, so we're going to move everything that's not y off to the other side of the equal sign. So we get 6y equals 2 minus 3x after subtracting 3x from both sides. Uh, and then to finally, finally, as if it's been a long process, um, but the final step that we need to do is divide by 6 so that we get 2 sixths or 1 third minus 3 sixths or 1 half x. And now we have y in terms of numbers and x's, a whole bunch of stuff, um, but the important thing is that there's no, there's no y over here. y is not stated in terms of itself, but in terms of other givens or unknowns. All right, so we'll run through a couple of different examples of how this can happen. How about um, 2 times x plus y equals 5 plus y. So now we've got y said two times, whereas over here it was just said once. So just like when we're solving an equation, first we have to get y said once, and then untangle. So whenever you're faced with a problem where there's, um, there's something factored over here, it's, it's often best just to distribute everything out, and then collect the terms that you want on one side, uh, and then off you go. So distributing, we get 2x plus 2y equals 5 plus y. Um, and then bring everything that's y to one side and everything that's not to the other. Because remember we're trying to say what y is. Um, over here we'll just have the one y after subtracting y from there. And on this side we have 5 minus 2x. And lo and behold, we are miraculously done. Lucky us. Um, next up, we've got um, xy equals 2 minus 3y. Now this time, once we bring the y over here, so they're all on one side, we won't get quite as lucky. Um, but adding 3y to both sides, we're going to get 3y plus xy equals 2. Now, here's the trick. We've got y said two times here. We need to get it said once. Um, so what we'll do is, since this is 3y's and this is xy's, how many y's do we have all together? We've got 3 plus xy's equals 2. We're going to factor out the y. Um, you might be more comfortable thinking of it as pulling a y out front 
that would be y times 3 plus x equals 2. Same thing. So finally, to solve for y, um, we need to divide by its coefficient, which here is 3 plus x, and we get y equals 2 over 3 plus x. Now, having two variables, there's nothing special about that. We can have as many as many as we want, uh, with the, the key thought being we find for one of them that we want to isolate uh, and bring it all to one side and simplify and untangle. Um, so one last example, we'll have a plus 5 equals um, ab over 2 minus ac. So everything with an a is going to come over here and everything not will send over there. Um, or actually maybe it's easier to send all the a's over here. Equal signs, don't care which side you're happening on. So we get ab over 2 minus ac minus a. Same song and dance with pulling out a factor of a. So pull out an a, b over 2, minus c, minus 1, careful there, equals 5. And finally, a equals 5 over that mess, b over 2, minus c, minus 1. Um, one last thing before we go, um, we can also solve these quick equations for other variables. So um, take this one here. Um, instead of solving for y, we could have solved for x. Um, in this case, that's pretty easy. x would just equal 2 minus 3y over y, dividing both sides by y. Or here, we could solve um, for c instead. Um, to do that, we would have our original thing, a plus 5, equals ab over 2 minus ac. And solving for c, um, I'll do this little song dance just to get things positive. I'll bring out that over there and this over here. So ac equals ab over 2 minus a minus 5. And so that c equals all of this divided by a, I'll do it term by term, so this divided by a is b over 2, this divided by a is 1, and this divided by a is 5 over a. Okay, so we have a bunch of variables related to each other. We pick one that we want to isolate so that we can write a formula for it. Um, we bring all of its terms, everything that contains it, to one side, consolidate, untangle.